Charges are possible after a viral online post accused a state trooper of sexual assault. Newly released body cam video clears him of the crime, and tonight's social media is changing its tune. Todd Unger reports. All right, put down the phone. Put down the phone. If you watch almost two hours of it, you're going to return taking nine more heel to toe steps. The DPS video footage of a DWI arrest over the weekend in Ellis County seems very routine, even uneventful. You know where you're going to take me? Yes, Ellis County Jail and walk to Hatch. It's a wonder then that the woman in the footage ever thought anyone would believe she was sexually assaulted by the trooper, as her attorney claimed. As somebody who was one of the first ones to see the video, to then see the firestorm and the persistence of the false allegations, it was dumbfounding to me. The Ellis County DA says they're still mulling over whether to file charges against 37-year-old Sharita Cole. We went by her grapevine home to try and get an explanation, no luck. The story of a supposed assault went viral thanks to a push by her attorney, Lee Merritt, but more notably because of social media posts and outrage spurred by social activist Sean King. Now, Merritt has apologized, and King posted a lengthy blog post this evening saying after reviewing the DPS video three times, it's clear, quote, none of the criminal allegations that Sharita Dixon Cole communicated very clearly to her family, friends, and attorneys ever took place on this video. Not one. Not the threats. Not the sexual assaults. None of it. It is one of the most bizarre things I've ever heard of. Lots of good and decent people should be outraged. The DA says he's never seen anything like it either and hopes to never again. Now, King stopped short of apologizing in his blog post this evening. We should also point out that DPS, we have not heard from this trooper himself, but that the DPS agency says they are, quote, appalled and that they say the release of this video was unedited. It was raw, except for one small point where they had, had to edit out some personal information. Reporting live tonight, Todd Unger, Channel 8 News. All right, Todd. A lot of